What is up guys, Ghost here. So Battlefield 4's numbers are crazy right now, at least on PC. So I made a video on how well Battlefield 4 has been doing a few days ago and wanted to do a little follow up on that today because it seems that the increase in player numbers is not slowing down and has unfortunately come with a few problems. So many of you will know that Battlefield 4 Standard Edition is currently free on PC for users of Amazon Prime. And when I made my video a few days ago, it was pretty much level pegging for player numbers when compared to Battlefield 5, which I thought was quite impressive. You know, BF4 is an eight year old game, Battlefield 5 is the newest Battlefield title, DICE's flagship game until of course 2042 is available. But then something happened, something that I never really expected. On the 9th of June, the Battlefield 2042 reveal trailer premiered on YouTube and Battlefield 4's player numbers absolutely skyrocketed. Get it? Skyrocketed? You see what I did there? So anyway, here is a picture of the graph as it stands at the moment on the 14th of June. And as you guys can see, there has been a huge jump in player numbers for Battlefield 4 every single day since the release of the trailer. And I'm honestly not sure where it's going to end. Now I've been playing Battlefield 4 over the past year or so on a regular basis and I've been keeping an eye on these player numbers and around 8 or 9,000 was a pretty regular amount for peak player numbers. We are now peaking at about 31,000 players. That's more than three times as many. So I'm sure a good chunk of the reason is because Battlefield 4 is currently free. But I think even more so because the older players who loved Battlefield 4, players who maybe weren't that happy with the direction that Battlefield 1 and Battlefield 5 took, are now looking to play 2042 later on this year and are therefore diving back into one of their favourite Battlefield titles to warm up. Now, as awesome as this is, like I mentioned at the start of the video, it comes with its fair share of problems. So firstly, you can barely find an empty spot in a server anymore. Before this happened, I often joined servers only to find they were just being padded by invisible bots, and then I left. Now I can't find a server without a queue of about 10 people. And obviously the main reason is because there are no DICE official servers for the game anymore. All the servers you see are being run by and paid for by people like you and me. Now the guy who runs this API that grabs all of these statistics is a good friend of mine by the name of Mr249 and I'll leave his info down below if you're interested to have a look at the live player feeds for yourself. But according to him, the server count has increased from about 800 servers to about 1070 servers. So I guess a lot of people must be making their own servers to play on. And I have to say, if you want to create and populate a new server, now is definitely the time. Now, the second problem it's bringing with it is server lag, or what most people refer to as rubber banding. And if you saw my video yesterday when I was playing in the attack helicopter, I was experiencing that in quite a bad way. Now, the reason it's called rubber banding is because you often see your character bouncing around forwards and backwards repeatedly. And this is usually caused by server lag, most likely because there are multiple servers being hosted on the same IP and the same machine. You may indeed notice that sometimes you'll join a server and it'll be super laggy and other times you can join it and have it not be laggy in the slightest. And this depends on the total number of players that are playing on all of the servers that are hosted by that particular IP and that particular machine. However, since every single server seems to be completely full with a queue to boot at almost every time of the day, well, that problem is not very likely to go away. And honestly, I don't know about you guys, but I'm encountering it more often than not. So yeah, I really love seeing Battlefield 4 as alive as it is at the moment and, you know, seeing my favourite Battlefield game being on the top, but I'm interested to know what your guys' experience has been like as well. Is this just me? You know, are you guys having the same rubber banding problems that I am? Or, you know, are you enjoying playing the game or are you just constantly stuck in queues or being rubber banded around the server? Let me know down in the comments, guys. Thank you for watching the video. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more Battlefield. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.